Well, we are just walking down the road here. And to see there are people already walking around with cans of beer in their hand. And uh, uh, most of the people that are walking around with the cans of beer in their hand look very intoxicated already, uh, which tells me um, that weekends seem to be the best time for them to do their drinking, or the only time. Hopefully, uh, eventually they won't drink at all, but uh, uh, that seems to be the case right now. And um, so uh, there are two people walking towards me. I'm going to try to get a quick interview with them and uh, to see how we can maybe help them with their uh, alcohol drug addiction as such. How you guys doing? Hi, do you guys drink alcohol? Do you guys drink alcohol? No, no, you don't know alcohol, no drugs? No, because I'm here to help you if you are. Okay? Well, they claim they don't drink anything. Okay. Let's see what this is all about over here. Hi. Can I give you this? It's just for a drug or alcohol addiction. If you know anybody, I'm here to help them for free. You just Yeah, you just call me. And if you look on the other side of this card, there's a website. I have over 100 videos that I've created on addiction, domestic abuse, uh, role model ship in their home, stuff like that. So, okay. Yes, I'm sorry. All right. Have a great day. Hi. Do you know anybody that does has any alcohol or drug addiction? Let me give you. Let me give you a couple of them. I do that for free. I I'm an addiction recovery coach. And I also help people with uh, problems if they oh, are good. if they I'll abuse think, other people yes, or. Yes, my daughter she's crying, but it's hard. Yes. You have to want it in here and yes. with God. Yes. If you don't have both of them combined, yes. then. She knows that she goes to church and she goes back out and she weakens and somebody come up with and say, "I'll give this to you free." She has three beautiful kids, uh, oh. baby, seven months old. Oh my God! Yeah. Yes, and I get scared. She can't have money in her hands because. She says, I'm doing better, Mom, and then the minute she gets money in her hands, that's it. Oh, boy. And I stay there. I sit up with her baby all night because I, I was in the foster home. Oh. And God forbid I don't want them taking it to right. the home. I was an alcoholic. Um, I, I, up until June 22nd, 2013. And I, I lost my daughter six months. Oh, gee. I went to go to the train track, and a train almost knocked my head off. Wow. I turned around, I went and sat at the meeting at St. Uh, at, um, like I just said, uh, I worked there for 13 years, Lighthouse Mission. Oh, okay. And I sat there and I said, I went up to them and I said, listen, I'm an alcoholic. They didn't believe because they always saw me and they prayed for me. I said, oh, I'll go home and have a couple of beers. My brother said, there's a couple of beers. No, bro, I don't want it today. He said, sisters, more beer. No, two years and two months. For you being sober, good for you. My daughter, I've told her about, came out from North Carolina. That day I went through a whole case again because I knew she was going to sit there and leave the house and leave me with her kids. So you had a case because you were stressing? I knew what she was going to do to me. That night she went out and stayed at somebody's house while I was taking care of her kids, taking them to school, and she stayed there for around three months and then she got home. Uh, 16 years. I've been praying. I go to this church. I pray. 16 years. She's a beautiful person, good intentions, but she lets the devil whip her. Yeah. And you know, addiction doesn't care I if know, you're black, I white, they don't if, care if, if you're rich kids, or poor, it doesn't matter if it could suck the, you in. I see her come in the house, it's not even my daughter. Wow. It's not even my daughter I'm looking at. She's getting old looking, right? And no, matter of fact, she's, she's getting loving. prettier. Ah, <laughs> well, you know. The when, devil can trick you, make you think yeah. this is the way you're going to look if you do it. Some people don't look this way, but he's tricking you. Now, when you had that case of beer, did you feel guilty about it afterwards? No. no? that I stopped again. And listen to this. My sister had a heart attack. Ooh. 16 year old son, I'm not 16, he was like 20. He's gonna commit suicide. I am I said him three weeks after that. I started to go back to drink. I said, no, hold on. A month later, my they came to me and said, your brother just died. Mm. 
Good little drink. I went on a Sunday to get a case of beer. He said, you can't buy beer Sunday. I said, can I buy the towel more? And I stopped again. Stopped again. So now how long has it been? Now two years? Uh, or do you just... Longer. Longer now. Longer. Good for you. I'm trying. Temptation. I go into the store and I see the beer and I'm stressed out. And I said, no, walk away. Do you, uh, do you like to watch videos and stuff like that? I look at On the, the back of this card? Uh-huh. Right there is my email, I mean my web address. You see oh, it says clear. On there, I've been on channel 11. I've, oh, I've had three channels on. If you go on clearviews.info, mm -hmm. there's about 80 videotapes. I do a videotape every day for one hour. Beautiful. I definitely look at But it. what the clear stands for is community lessons of power addiction recovery. It's your lessons and my lessons yes. that will help other people. So go on there, yes, if, definitely will. and if you ever want to talk to me, my phone number is on okay, there. Give beautiful. me a call. It was such a pleasure, and I hope beautiful. you stay off and as much as I. And you know what people need somebody to call when they're attempting to do this. Exactly. There's not enough people. He tried at the church to do it for people, but they go for a week, and then they leave, so he gave it up. Yeah. You have to be consistent, though. Yeah, you know, um, I like I said, I... Uh, am an alcoholic, mm -hmm. but I've learned to live with it now, mm -hmm. which I've now for almost two years. Mm -hmm. uh, in between, I do eyeglasses for a living. I'm mm -hmm. an optician. Oh. In between there, I, uh, God introduced me to Dr. Luis Gonzalez, and he's in Minnesota, and he runs a, an addiction coaching school. He gave me my education for nothing because mm -hmm. of my videos, and I graduated two that. months. Two months ago, I graduated. I only got one wrong on my, my finals. So usually, uh, eventually I'm going to charge people, but I want to build up my confidence yes. and my resume by yes. doing it for nothing. And this is my streets. Oh. I used to do my drinking here. Oh, oh, the liquor shop to Pagoda, to yes. Pagoda Road, I drink every day a couple yes. of shots. Uh, since then, I moved to the Hamptons because yeah. my wife works out there. My family, unfortunately, I'm not blaming because they're Indian, but they're heavy, heavy. Dude. My mother's from the Chinook Reservation. Right. And they all drink it but one daughter. Right. My father had nine of us. He said, if one is good, I'm a blessed boy. That's right. Well, you know, I always say that if I get two people yes. out of each video, yes. guess who one person is? Always yes. me. Because my me talking to you right now refreshes my memory yes. on how I want to make sure that I stay yes. clean. And when you meet people like me and mm -hmm. I show you stuff like mm -hmm. this, if you go on there, it's going to be videos on domestic abuse, about yeah. drinking and being pregnant. Yeah. I have videos that covers everything, mm -hmm. and they're on DVDs now, and I don't charge people for any of this. Definitely, definitely go on there. And the blue card, the other mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. this is my help card. Okay. My phone number is right there. Just okay. If you want to just talk to me, you just call me anytime, no, okay? Last week I said, you know, if people have somebody, talk, sometimes I get to a person that walks up and down, and, and people that make it down, then they just stand here and see what comes out. You know what? This is no lie. I have to come here to talk to, uh, to uh, Pastor Adam the other yeah, day. Yeah, and he goes to me, Ralph, I've known you for a lot of years now because I used to do other things, you know, like uh, helping older people. And he goes, do you know of an electrician? Mm -hmm. And out of nowhere, because they were ready to ch shut his church down, yes, I heard. Yeah. Out of nowhere, the electrician came and helped him already. And I said to myself, why not come back to where I was the biggest drinker and talk to people like Charlie? You know Charlie? I, Charlie, he left. Yeah, he was, I wanted he to interview to, him. He went to South Carolina because oh. he was getting, I said, Charlie, leave here. They wanted to beat him up. I know that he went to jail for his good. go away. Get away oh, from so he's gone. Okay. Yeah. But, and do you know there was a, a, a middle-aged, uh, heavier set lady that used to sit at the, the bench over there drinking mm -hmm. all day? Do you know what happened to her? No, uh, you don't even know. But, uh, like, Pat is good friends with my My mother is a German lady that... Oh, Pat is my best friend. Yeah, well, you probably know my mother. She has a stroller, gray hair. Sometimes she has my handicapped sister, and she's yeah, German. I know. Margaret's yes. her name. That's my mother. Oh, yeah, my and mother. I was raised in a Christian family. When I was an alcoholic, I always had the God in me, but that wasn't good enough. Because no. God said, when you're ready to come to me yes. and accept me for guidance... When I finally hit rock bottom is when God set me yes. to do this. When I was in the Marine Corps, I used to be a chaplain mm -hmm. in the Marines. Oh, wow. So this is my calling. Yes. Even though I make money doing my eyeglasses, mm -hmm. this is what I need to do. Wow, God bless you. And so you thank call you. me for anything. I like God is in the midst, and this is beautiful because I was thinking about this the other day. Yeah. People like you right. came and had a phone number where when you feel down, you're the person you want to go to. Just call, just to talk. Yeah. 
And you know what? Um, I think maybe on a Sunday, I'll just come down here for an hour or two and just walk the streets. I was going to go into the church and do it there, but I'm disrupting his service then. Yes. So if I just walk okay, around... But I'm going to tell you, is our Renzen, we have a Bible study. Okay. And the gentleman that teaches Bible study, he's very... He would like that. Well, you know what? Give him my card and have him call me. Uh, Abner knows me, so okay. talk to him. And uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. And I, we're going to run into each other again. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up, guys? You got change of a dollar on you? I don't have any change on me. Uh, no, my wife took it. Can I give you guys something? Yeah. This is, uh, if you have any issues with drugs or alcohol, I help you for free, okay? Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Well, as you can see, another person that I spoke to, another, from what she's telling me is, is that they would love to have somebody that just walks up and down the streets here just to talk to people, to find out what is going on with and how bad the drugs and alcohol issues are here. And that's what I will do, is I'm going to just go around and talk to people. Because there's probably millions of people that are out here that have drug and alcohol issues. How you doing? Can I give you this? Hi. Hi. I'm fighting drugs and alcohol addiction for people. I'm trying to help them for free. If you know anybody, have them give, give me a call. Uh, I don't know if you do drugs or alcohol, if you have any addiction. But if you know people, have them give me a call, okay? Thank you. All right, so we're going to cut this short now. Bye-bye.